So I just saw a Nigerian movie at the cinema, The Weights, produced by Tolu Lotana. I don't know if that's pronounced Lotana or Lotana, but so produced by Tolu Lotana and directed by Yemi Finboy. Men, they did a wonderful job. Like, The Weight is awesome. I recommend The Weight for everybody. I don't mind seeing that movie over and over again, trust me, yes. Um, one of the major things I learned from The Wait is that so many people are in God's waiting room part-time. You are not the only one. If you are presently in God's waiting room, and what does it mean to be in God's waiting room? You are waiting upon God for a particular thing. If you are in God's waiting room right now, you are not the only one waiting upon God. You are not the only one in God's waiting room. There are so many people in god's waiting room at that same time you are in god's waiting room so see i learned so many things from that movie like seriously just stay glued if you've not got a seat get yourself a seat because i'm going to share so many things in this video Welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Ifeolu Abam Shaye. If you're new here, you're welcome. I film about faith, lifestyle, family, and gist. I love to gist, but my gist will not take away from you, but add value to you. So today, we are hanging out. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm hanging out with my sister. My, my young sister is around. Take it easy. My younger sister is around. I'm hanging out with her. And of course, you can see someone here. Of course, it's going with us. So, let's see if we can carry you along. I hope we can actually carry you. We're actually going to the cinema, so let's see how it goes. I try to give you just stay. Just ensure you watch this video till the end because I'll be sharing a very interesting tip at the end of this video. See you later. was a bang seriously and one of the major things i learned is that everyone is in different waiting room at different times and there are so many people at god's waiting room part time but you know what be nice to those who are in obvious waiting rooms that you know those waiting upon god for babies oh please be nice to them stop let, let's quit the pressures let's quit the unnecessary questions see no one wants willingly wants to be in some waiting rooms at some times for instance, couples who have been married for 10 years, waiting up upon God for babies, and you think they, they are happy about it. Of course not. No one will sit back and they are just happy about everything. Like they're happy about the situation that for 10 years that they've been married and they've been trying, they are unable to, to have babies of their own. No, they are not. Oh, they may be happy, yes. They but the truth of the matter is there's this, there's still this part of them that long to be to have those babies there's this part of them that long to also carry their babies and know how it feels now imagine couples being in that particular situation and you are coming up with unnecessary questions like how far now what do they do 10 years don't pass so now see they stop these babies from coming see let us be sensitive let us be sensitive seriously we really need to learn to to be nice and be kind to those who are in obvious waiting rooms that we know. Okay, I, I think I forgot to give you a synopsis of the movie. In the movie, the main character is Dr. Nara, and um, Dr. Nara, I think, um, is that character that brings 
the other characters together somehow there's this connection between dr nara and every other character in that movie and she she kind of through her i, I want to feel believe through her god gives god god is giving solution to other different families singles those who have been married and have no kids those who who don't have husbands those who have babies and their babies died she she is just this strong character that gives hope to the hopeless that's the summary of everything and there are different instances in the movie that showed you that people are going through so many things see the struggles of life are real they are very real people so if you've not seen the movie the wait i i really don't know i i think i am happily promoting this movie for free yes i will and i will do it over and over again seriously so I, I think I'll give you enough synopsis. That is enough teaser for you to go see the movie. So another lesson that I learned from the movie, the wait is we really need to start checking up on waiting fathers. Yes, I think there are so much attention on waiting mothers that people forget waiting fathers. They are equally yes. Do we say men, men are strong? Or they don't really show their pain and all, but the pain is. Equal, they are, they are equally waiting for babies. Men want to see their children, so they want to see their babies. So the fact that it's the woman who carries the pregnancy does not mean that the waiting period does not affect the man. It does. Like it's been presented in the movie, the way that, uh, that there's this character who... And I can't even remember his name. Anyway, I think when you when you see the movie, you you will know the name yourself. But there's this character who has been a uh, this couple. I think I just said there's this couple who has been waiting upon God for a baby for ten years. I don't even know. I think they you know the other couple has married for ten years. They married for five years, and they've had five. They've lost five babies, in short. And the wife just withdrew to herself and thought, oh. It's over. She she's not opening up and all. See the day this man broke down too. I was like, yeah, that is it. We pay so much attention to the woman. Everyone is just concerned about the woman, the woman. The, but the truth of the matter is, the man has just been bottling up everything. He has just been trying to like man it up. That is just the truth. And he he, he has to open up and begins to say, oh, there are his babies. The pregnancies were his pregnancies too, you know. He, 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 he is going through the same pain, but he's just trying to manage it in a more matured way. So I think we should pay more attention. We, not, not like pay more attention, but I think we should pay equal attention to waiting fathers too. So at a place of prayer, while you are praying for the woman, please pray for the man too. While you are checking up on the woman, don't check up in an insensitive manner. But while you are checking up on the woman, please check up on the man too. Say a word of prayer for them, say a word of encouragement just let them know you got the box and you're there for them okay another lesson from the movie is to everyone who um, is in one waiting room or the other I will advise you join a group that will help you a group that will motivate you a group that of people a group of people who will be there to hold your ends especially at your down moments especially at those times that it feels like you are the only one in this waiting room. Then another benefit of joining a reasonable, a godly, or a good group is that you will hear other people's experiences and you realize that I am not the only one in the world who is going through this. Yes, you realize that at those times when you think God is being unfair to you, you realize, oh no, God is being fair to me. <laughs> God has no, he says, God says in his word that his thoughts towards us are of good and not of evil to what? To give us an expected end. So when, when it appears like there's a casting down <laughs> with God and with the help of godly good people around you to encourage you, you realize that for you, it's a lifting up, no casting down at all. So you need the good company. You need to associate yourself with the right set of people. Please identify with a group who will, a good group that will be there for you. A good group that will hold your ends up, just like the group that, um, the group that Dr. Nara has in that movie, The Waiting Room, that is the name of the group, and they have different kind of people. And I love the father. At the beginning, the group is just for women. 
women who are waiting for different reasons. I like the fact that at the end, the group became open to even the men, not just the women alone. Because, see, everyone needs it. We are all human, so both men and women, <laughs> we are humans. We can all have a down moment. We can all break down if it gets overwhelming, you know. So I like the fact that it became open to both men and women. So please identify with a group if it's possible. A group that can hold your hands up in prayers because it, it goes beyond just let us talk. Sometimes talk and not do it. But with the help of the Holy Spirit, you can achieve it. I like that couple. Uh, I don't. I, I thought I don't know their names, right? So there is this particular couple who likes to pray in that movie and i like them so much like i like the fact that okay they are always there to pray the other couple prays too but i think you know they say oh the fact <laughs> makes the heart weary so that's it it, it it gets to a point where they they actually not praying again but the other couple i like the fact that oh they pray all the time see you need we, we can't do away with prayers we actually need prayer so it, it's better if you belong to a group where apart from the talk they can also pray with you another benefit of joining a group like that is that they understand your pain they understand what you are going through oh don't get me wrong they are also you can also talk to people who are actually not in the same shoe with you and they will understand what you're going through but they are if you belong to a group of people who are in the same shoe with you they understand exactly how the pain feels you know you will be able to flow at the same Free, at the same frequency, at the same level. Do you understand? So it's actually very beneficial for you to belong to a group that will be there for you. Finally, I'm going to say only God can do it. See, whatever waiting room you are right now, don't keep malice with God. There's a woman in the movie who keeps malice with God because she feels God has been unfair to her. See, don't keep malice with God. It is only God that can do it. He can do all things. God has the ability to do all things. And he makes all things beautiful in his time. So, so please, don't keep malice with God. Just hold firmly unto God. Keep your hope high. Keep your faith in God high. Like, just have faith in him and trust him. See, I like a particular line. I wrote it down so I won't forget. Um... Dr. Nara's friend at the end of movie at, at the end of the movie asked her that what if God makes you wait for too long? And guess what she replied with? She said, Then I will wait. What if God makes you wait forever? Then I will wait. Why will I wait? Because he is God. Whether I wait, whether I'm not waiting, it remains God. Whether I have a baby, whether I don't have a baby, it remains God and his name will be glorified forever. And since he already said in his word that his thoughts towards me are of good and not of evil to give me an expected end, why should I be bothered? See, I know that some of these things can really get at us, but when it gets to a point where, where, where you've got to the point where You've surrendered everything you have to him. God owns me. He owns every time. He owns everything I have. Whatever it is you're going through right now, don't keep malice with God. Just hold firmly unto him. He's the only one who can do it. No one else can. See, any man who tells you he can do it is lying. Even if he, he does it through some magic, through some um, diabolical power, it won't last. So why will you want to leave the one who can do all things and the one who has total control over your life so i encourage us to please hold firmly unto god he's coming for you whatever waiting room it is you are right now god is coming for you he has not forgotten you no he doesn't forget his own he's coming for you he came through for abraham he came through for isaac he came through for anna he came through for ruth even when it appears difficult he's coming for you just don't give up on him just old family old family unto him i'm very sure you have equally learned from the movie I saw at the cinema. Thank you so much for watching this video. I would like to know if you have seen the movie in the comment section. Oh, and if you've not seen the movie, I sincerely recommend the movie. It's going to, it's, it's going to benefit you. Like it's, it's going to be, very, it's going to benefit you so much. I think I should add this. See, while you're waiting, while you are in God's waiting room, don't wait idle. Don't, don't stay and don't fold your hands because you are in God's waiting room and. 
decide not to do anything. I like that character, Sonto, who decides to maximize his waiting time by, okay, creating that dance group. And eventually, he actually gets a job. God remember. See, God will always remember him. God remembers him. And I think the character of Sonto actually taught me another lesson. That, see, sometimes when you are praying that God should bless you, pray for your benefactors. <laughs> pray that <laughs> nothing is going to stop your benefactors from being, from helping you. Because sometimes, I, 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 I feel, sometimes benefactors, somehow, something happened to them. Just the day the husband was supposed to show Somto's documents to the wife. They had issues and they were not talking for a while. That was how Somto's documents remained in the husband's bag until probably, I think, days later when they've, they, they're already in good terms. And whatever hotel room you are, wait joyfully and maximize your waiting time. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you're yet to subscribe to my channel, what are you waiting for? Please subscribe to my channel, like my video, also like to hear from me in the comment section. Click the notification bell so you will get notified anytime I upload a new video. I'll see you in my next video. Till then, bye!